Hello there guys, as you can see I've got all the new parts to build a PC and this specific build is going to be for 3D rendering, motion graphics and for some gaming as well. And this is going to be my very first attempt at doing this pretty much from scratch on my own. And I want you to know that I'm very keen to share this experience with you and hopefully this is going to be a successful attempt. Not every CG artist and motion graphic designer knows how to build a computer from scratch, so I'm sure this video is going to be helpful for those who want to build a powerful workstation for the very first time. As for myself, this is going to be a new experience in getting all these parts together into a powerful workstation. So maybe this is going to be somewhat of a motivation for you to give it a go and build your own PC. Especially building your own PC from scratch is usually cheaper than buying an already built one, plus the perks of knowing how to replace broken parts or just being able to upgrade your existing computer. I've watched tons of tutorials on YouTube, so in theory I know what to do, but I guess we'll find out soon. Today I have Thermaltake View 51 for a PC case, extra fans for better PC cooling, Corsair 1200 watts for power supply, Trident Z RGB and in total it should be 128GB of RAM, thermal paste, SSD, for CPU there is AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3960, Asus ROCK Asterix uh, LC360 for my CPU cooling, for motherboard there is Iris Extreme TRX40 and for GPU there is RTX 3090 MSI Supreme X Edition. One thing to notice before you start building your computer is that every part needs to match. For example, not every CPU will fit into every motherboard. So obviously all these things need to be considered before you start buying your parts. Do your research to make sure you don't buy things that won't match together. So without further ado, let's get started. So finally I managed to put everything together. The beauty of this case is that you can put all these wires on the back, there's plenty of space for it, and it won't be visible from the front. However, I'm facing quite a crucial problem here. I can't turn on my computer from the power button on the case. I can only turn on my computer from the power button on the uh, motherboard. I need to properly connect the wires from the power button on the case to the motherboard. So hopefully this will be a fairly quick fix and I'll get back to you soon. A few moments later. Okay, so I found a solution. There are these little wires. They're connected to a power button on a PC case. And then I found this adapter which came with a motherboard. I connected these little wires to an adapter and then all the way to a motherboard on the other side and it worked. So here's a power button. And look at this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. You know what? Let me show you a proper presentation. 